Apart. I came apart like an avocado seed from my mother's childhood. The avocado seeds that she would pin in a Tupperware container with toothpicks and fill with water. In a month and a half, she would have a mini earthquake at her kitchen windowsill when the pit would crack in the Midwestern sun and bear a tree that was really no more than a twig. I remember that tree whenever I look in the mirror and want to cut up my reflection with scissors. I think about that twig for self-motivation. Breaking. I thought I was breaking when I rose from my middle school gym's floor and blood slipped down my leg like a secret everyone came to know at once. I was 11 and had never felt so betrayed by my own body. I was 11 with a tundra for a womb and murder weapons for legs. I have seen more blood in four years than any man in a horror movie has. <laughs> and each time I bleed, I have the same feeling at least once that I am dying. I am shedding away from life like a small star in a galaxy that is a population of females who feel my pain. Burn. I wanted to burn the hands of the 8th grade boy who followed me home from school when I was in 7th grade. Once he tried to pop the buttons off my blouse, wrapped his boiling water hands around my forearms and called me a stupid bitch. Yes, his hands were boiling water, but mine were the purest fire in fists and elbows all over him until I was running. My clothes whipped through the winter winds like a superhero's cape. I was my own superhero that day. Transformation. A transformation occurred when I stopped being afraid of what some men think because they don't understand what it means to be a woman. They don't understand the cities that blossom inside us where the locals paint our bones in shades of metallic and the children swim in the seas between our shoulder blades. How I wanted to be in the city inside someone else. How afraid I was of the commitment that comes with myself. But I have learned it is beautiful to be responsible for the little things inside of you. It is beautiful to survive. I am beautiful. Thank you.